Well, I was recently in a position of having to choose between two gorilla pods, the 5K and the 3K, and I just wanted to take you through my decision process, why I chose, short story, this one, the 5K, over this one, the 3K. And these are both the pro versions. So there is a Gorillapod 3K, which is made of plastic, which is not this. These are both the aluminium versions. Now, firstly, let's look at them in terms of dimensions. You can tell quite easily that in fact, the 5K is taller. It's taller by about three inches. And that's comprised of two things. First of all, you can see that the head is slightly taller. And then of course, the legs as well are slightly taller. So that gives that, you know, that extra height altogether. That's about a three inch increase in height. There's a couple of other differences, of course. The 5K has two knobs, one knob to vary the horizontal rotation, and then the other knob to release the ball to turn the head. Whereas this one, the 3K Pro Kit, just has the knob to turn the head. Differences, of course, you know, the kit as opposed to the stand means you get a ball head with it. And the Pro Kit basically means that you get, these are made of aluminium instead of the plastic that you might find on the cheaper 1K and the 3K. Essentially, price-wise, you'll find that this one, the 5K, depending on your country, in terms of the currencies, it's about 20% more expensive than this model of the 3K. So which one might you wanna choose? And I was thinking, well, you know, this is kind of a little bit smaller. Weight-wise, there's not that much of a difference. Vloggers talk about the idea of being able to bend it and then hold it like that in, ahead of them, and that this is a little bit thicker. Well, can I just mention, if you want one for vlogging, which nobody else seems to have mentioned in their videos, you don't have to bend all three of these to hold it. You can just bend one, and it's tough enough to stand like that. Yep, you can just hold that. But the other advantage of having the longer legs, of course, is that you can get your camera much higher without having to hold the whole thing much higher. And I would have thought that that is a real definite advantage because you don't have to lift your hand quite so high. And when you're vlogging, that's the big thing. The weight difference, there is a weight difference, but it isn't that much as far as I can tell. So that's a fundamental difference. The other thing to look at, of course, which people don't seem to mention, is the tripod heads or the plates, the mounting plates. They're both Arca Swiss compatible. Now what Arca Swiss compatible basically means is that they've got, is that gonna come out? Yes, it is, I think it is. Yeah. They've got the, the beveled edges there, yep. So it kind of goes in uh, like that, and then you, you tighten that down, it tightens in on the bevel keeps it nice and secure. The 5K head is much bigger than the plate, rather is much bigger than the 3K plate. What does that look like in real life? Well, let me just show you my EOS R with a, what is that, 24 to 105 lens, which again is a typical sort of thing you might mount. And we'll come back to that in a moment. I've got a Arca Swiss compatible plate on the bottom of my camera, which fits into both of these very easily. You've got different if you like, styles of plates on the market. You've got the Arca Swiss, which is this style, and then you've got the Manfrotto, which are generally bigger. Arca Swiss are generally cheaper and smaller, but they're the ones I went with, and really you've got to pick one, you've got to stick to it. So basically you can take this off then, you can pop it on any tripod, you can pop it on your gimbal or whatever. You, you, can, you can even fit it to, and you'll see at the back over here, I've got this thing here, which is a Peak Design clip. And in fact, that particular Arca Swiss mount came with a Peak Designs clip, goes straight in there. The only thing I would say is that you've got to be a little bit careful because some of the Arca Swiss compatible things have these little knobbins underneath which fit with mounts that enable you to vary slightly the direction. That won't fit on everything, so if that was your Arca Swiss mount, it wouldn't fit on the top of those two because of those little knobbins, which you can probably get an Allen key and take out. But Arca Swiss, that's what it means when you talk about Arca Swiss compatible. So the nice thing is about this, I don't have to use those plates. In fact, I can, because that plate, because it's got the little bevels, there you go. Because it's got the little bevels, it'll just fit into either one of those and off I go, nice and easy. Now that's the, that's the kind of pretty standard kit you might find people using with one of these Gorilla Pods. The 3K obviously means it can, well not obviously, but it does supposedly mean it can hold three kilograms. The 5K means it can hold five kilograms. Now this is like near the three kilogram mark. In terms of mounting it, for the extra, what was for me 20 pounds, I just feel more secure with this one here, the 5K. It just feels that I've got spare capacity. It's not going anywhere. This one just feels 
even with this, which is I would this is probably my minimum spec, if you like, for sticking on a tripod. You might put a longer zoom on there, you might attach more things to it, you might put a field monitor, you might put a microphone, you might even put a battery pack, other bits and bobs. You know, that and this is, you know, mirrorless camera. So for me, I would definitely say just spend a little bit extra, go for the 5K. If you're a vlogger and you're thinking, well, I can't get my little hands around it, don't forget, just bend one leg and it's absolutely fine. You can then hold it like that at a distance and Really, that's just, you can get your fingers around, that's really nice and comfortable, fits in your hand there, kind of grips. That's lovely, and because you've got the extra length there, you don't have to lift your hand quite so high. So really, that's, I would have thought that's definitely the way to go for me. So there we are, the metal joints are much better than the plastic ones. So definitely go for one of the Pro Kits if you can afford it. And then really, the extra price, you know, unless you really are looking at, so I need small, I need, I need, you know, minute to fit in my bag or something else like that. Fair enough. But if, if you can, I would say go for the 5K. There is a further upgrade to the 5K, of course, which is there's a 5K video, which then has basically a pan and tilt arm for the top. But from my point of view, there we are. So Gorilla Pods, uh, you can get the cheaper generic ones, of course, which are much smaller. But really, if you want something that's going to really do the job that you can rely on and that's going to last and be with you for years, these you can't go wrong with. I actually got that in the Amazon warehouse with an extra 20% off. So I'm jolly, jolly happy. Any questions, any comments, please put them down below and more stuff coming as soon as I can. Thanks for your time.